Cat here with another possum preview for the next episode of the Friday Zone. We're gonna have pancakes for I've been receiving quite a bit of Earth fan mail recently. Uh, you might look like you are uh, four different people, but as of right now, you are one all-knowing being. Hey guys, it's Olivia, and today we're at Corner Prairie. We're here to check out the new corn maze. Let's go! So keep an eye out for the next episode of The Friday Zone. Right meow! Production support for The Friday Zone is provided by... The WTIU Children's Programming Endowment. Ensuring quality children's programming for future generations of Hoosiers. Learn more at indianapublicmedia.org slash kidsfund. The IU School of Education, dedicated to improving, teaching, and learning in a diverse and rapidly changing world. More at education.indiana.edu. WFYI Public Media, inspiring Indiana with high quality educational content since 1970. By sharing stories and connecting people, WFYI inspires the best in our community. And these Indiana Public Television stations. Thank you. Doc, I'm terrified of random letters. What's that? I said I'm terrified of random letters. Oh, you are? <gasps> oh, oh, I see. Uh, oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I Welcome to the Friday Zone, everyone. I'm Cassia. And I'm Ethan. We've got a silly show today, Cass. Yeah, our pals from Comedy Sports Indy are here to play a fun improv game. We'll get lost in a corn maze, and there's some sweet dance moves coming up, too. Right, but first, a song on, on the, the Friday, Friday Zone, Zone playlist. playlist. Need some, need some, need some, need some. 
The planet Tabian is struck by a meteor in the deepest parts of the galaxy. But what's this? The incredibly useful exploits of duct tape enthusiast Limbo Duxon are able to hold the planet together, preventing annihilation. The success of his duct tape mixture ushers in a new era for the people of Tabian, one that revolutionizes architecture, agriculture, and even arts and crafts. Now, reveling in the amazement of this incredible super material, Tabian wishes to spread its duct tape culture with the rest of the galaxy. Greetings, Earth children, and welcome to Planet Tapian. I'm your host, Flimbo Ducton. You know, I've been told by several of my colleagues that I haven't been giving you the proper respect as engineers. And we simply cannot have that now, can we? So from now on, I'll be teaching you some more advanced techniques. And I thought we would start by going over the construction of a trans-warp drive from my fleet of Tapian spacecrafts. Now, first, it's crucial that you construct a, uh, a duct tape genetic recombinant encoder, which will be crucial for... What? You say that I'm not allowed to show them how to construct a Tapian tr spacecraft transwarp drive? <sighs> well, that's, uh, that's, that's fine. Though I didn't exactly have another craft planned for today. Ooh, I know. I have been receiving quite a bit of Earth fan mail recently, and I have just been waiting for the chance to dispose. I mean, I mean, read some. Ah, let's see. Ah, here's one. Ah, little Timmy, age 10, from Connecticut. Dear Flimbo, I love your duct tape crafts. I always make them with my little sister, and we have a lot of fun. Well, that's lovely. I was wondering. Could you have a show where you teach us how to make a Tapian spacecraft transwarp drive? Sincerely, Timmy. Well, Timmy, I, I, I was very touched by your letter, but unfortunately the council won't let me share planetary secrets with Earthlings. I'll send you the schematics. Let's see here. Ah, uh, ah, a letter from Farmer Brown, age 65. Dear Flimbo, I can't say I'm not a fan of your show, but I know that you and your planet are responsible for stealing our cattle. You leave rolls of duct tape everywhere and my tractor keeps sticking to the fields. If you could please return our livestock and never come to Earth again, I would appreciate it. Sincerely, Farmer Brown. W well, uh, Farmer Brown, I'll, I'll start by saying I, I never stole anything. We were merely borrowing the animals and besides, they were quite essential for my research as they provided the genetic recoding modules necessary for producing the first living duct tape cow. But you probably don't care about that. I tell you what, I will not only promptly return your cows, but I'll also throw in a newly made duct tape cow for your trouble, and we can call it even. Yes, well, I think we have the time for maybe one or two more. Uh, let's see. Ah, here's one from little Susie, age six, from Florida. Dear Mr. Ducton, I really like learning about how to make duct tape stuff. Please show me how to make more. P.S. I think your headband is cute. Uh, well, you'll be surprised to know that this is not, in fact, a headband. It is a genetic antenna relay that was coded into the genes of each and every tapian to not only give them telepathic communication capabilities, but also complete control over the minds of Earthlings. But thank you for your letter. Ah, uh, let's see here. Ah, here's one from uh, Chief Lieutenant Walters, age 54, from Nevada. Not exactly the demographic I thought we were reaching, but I suppose everyone should have a chance to learn. Dear Alien Ambassador, you have two days to respond to our warning before Area 51 seizes control over your planetary broadcast and brings you in for questioning and experimentation. If you do not comply, Earth will declare war on your kind. Sincerely, Lieutenant Walters. Great, more spam mail. I guess I'll just put it with the others. Uh, well, I, I'm afraid that's all the time we have for today. Uh, sorry again about the warp drive tutorial not working out. Oh. But it was nice to hear from uh, all of your lovely comments about the show so far. I'll continue to do my best for the education of both Earth and Tapian kind. Until then, this is Flimbo Ducton signing off. Oh, and remember, 
stick to what you know, but never be afraid to try something new. Tapu Tapu. Let's get lost in a corn maze on the Friday Zone field trip. <laughs> It's Olivia, and today we're at Connor Prairie. We're here to check out the new corn maze. Let's go! corn maze and it's really cool there's three corn mazes here we have a long one a short one and then a spooky one for the headless horseman and actually today we're gonna go on the short one and we have here our scarecrow hunt there's five different shapes to find let's go and find them Check it out and see what shape it is. It looks like the scarecrow is the diamond shape. And we have the diamond on our card. Let's go find our next one. Over here. Look guys, we found the rectangle. Check it out. Let's check it out. Now let's go find our way out of here. I'll see you guys next time. And now, a story from a winner of the WTIU Kids Writers Contest. I came into this world broken and blue, with oxygen and meds, then lifeline too. My doctor ran test after test, hoping for answers to know what's best. They told my mom how fragile my life would be. But my mom knew CHG wouldn't stop me. You see, my chest has battle scars for all to see. I fight with every heartbeat. That's just me. I was born a warrior with only half a heart. I now raise awareness and do my part. My hospital and doctors are the best. They keep my heart beating inside my chest. you like to see something you wrote on the Friday Zone? It's easy. Just enter the WTIU Kids Writers Contest. Ask your teacher how to enter or request an entry form from WTIU at indiana.edu. Hi, it's Frankie from CSC Indianapolis and Comedy Sports uh, and we are here to play some improv games for you. So we're uh, doing some improvisation. Uh, so we're going to play the game of Oracle because I think that that's a fun game. Uh, so for that, uh, we're going to need um, three of you right here. Who wants to answer? Come on. Yeah, you two hadn't got, haven't gotten a chance to yet. And yeah, you, you just want to ask questions? That's perfect. All right. You know what? About John John. Oh, you know what? Let's, let's do a four person. Sure, why not? Excellent. Okay. Can I sit over there? Yes, absolutely. Let's let's get a little bit more symmetry here. That's all right. Okay, so have you stand in the back. Excellent. Thank you so much. All right. And you know what? You can probably stand right before her. Thank all right, so. <laughs> all right. Rock, paper, scissors for it. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. 
Great. All right. So you'll. All right. <laughs> Be, they just stand side I'm, by side. You'll be on your right there. So you'll, you'll stand up since you're just yeah. There we go. Or if need to, you can even just do a little bit of a squat there. Right. <laughs> all right. But you're you're you now all four of you. It might look like you are all four different people, but you are one all-knowing being. So we are going to answer questions from the beyond, one word at a time. Cool. All right. And also one word all done answering a question. We'll decide all together, and then you'll make an ooh. Let's try that, just for fun. Ooh. Good? All right. And you as well. All right, great. OK, so um, from you two, you may ask the oracle any question that you want to know the answer to. All right, what do you want to know? Which, what is the best animal in the world? Ooh, what is the best animal in the world? Oh, Oracle, you know what, we'll start in the back there. The best animal is a all-knowing Oracle. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, Oracle thinks very highly of themselves, don't they? <laughs> All right. Uh, so, uh, and what would you like to know from our Oracle? What is the worst animal? Oh, what's the worst animal in the world? Want to know the other side of that coin? Ooh, we'll start right here. The worst donkey. <laughs> um, is a. Uh, Unicorn. <laughs> the word, oh, ooh. Indeed, I think a unicorn would make a very poor donkey as well. Uh, you know what, Oracle, I would like to know who is going to win the World Series? In what? In 2025. Who's going to know? I, I want to know. I, I like planning ahead. All right, oh, Oracle. All right, we'll have you start right down here. The best. Oh, oh I guess we're going backwards. Okay, great. Best person will win. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. All right, so Who no mulligans this year, in 2025. All right, well, thank you very much, o Oracle. All right, give yourselves a round of applause. Good work. spy all in my hunter's camp. Uh, I lie and pl pl play at books th that I have read till till. Yes, go on, Zarg, you're killing it. Uh, uh, Zarg likes to kill things. Go on! <laughs> uh, till it, it, it is t time to, to go to bed. <laughs> You're breaking character, Peggy. It's oh, your turn. Right. <coughs> mm -hmm. These are the hills. These are the woods. These are my starry solitudes. And there the river by whose brink the roaring lions come to drink. Lions? I like lions. Now who's breaking character? Uh, Zarg <laughs> likes what he likes. There's no accounting for taste. Hey! <laughs> uh, uh, well, get on with it then. Uh, Wouldn't want anyone to think you were stalling. Uh, Zarg isn't <laughs> stalling. I don't hear you reading. Oh, fine. Zarg will read. Mm. I uh, see the others far uh, away as 
in fire lit? That's right. Don't second guess yourself. Uh, um, as in fire lit, ca camp they lay and uh, uh, la like to an Indian scout uh, around the air party proud about. Quick, hide! <laughs> so, when my nurse comes in for me, home I return across the sea and go to bed with backward looks at my dear land of story books. Good night, Zarg. Good night, Peggy girl child. <laughs> Welcome back to Something New. I'm Sophie, and I can't wait to see what new thing we're gonna learn today. But first, we need my friend for the day. Oh, come in. Hey, buddy, what's your name? Kenneth. Hi, Kenneth. Are you excited to try something new today? Yes. Awesome, me too. I oh, it's you, troublemakers. Uh, listen, I don't have time for your childish squabbles today. I'm on my way to a dance lesson. A dance lesson? You can dance? Oh, boy, can I ever. Uh, back in my day, I could cut a rug like nobody's business. It's actually how I wooed your grandmother. Uh, uh, my word, I could boogie. Uh, do you think that you could teach Kenneth and I how to dance? I'll be late to my class, but there's always time to teach the youngsters, huh? Yes. Okay, what do we do first? Uh, first, we have to stretch. Okay. Okay, cool. Ready? To this side. We're stretching. It's, it's important to maintain a loose body. We don't want a broken hip now. Come on, no. cut your feet. Let's go. Oh. All right, now that we're a loosey goosey, we can get down to the good stuff. Yes. It's all about moving your body and feeling the rhythm of the music. Awesome. Is this it? Uh, yeah, yes, yes, yes. And now that we're warmed up, we can get to the fancier numbers. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. That. Oh, oh uh, back in my day, you know, I just practiced all the time. It's about practice, my dear, and feeling the rhythm of the music. Oh, and prune juice keeps those legs loose. <laughs> all right, I need to get to my class now. Thank Bye, Grant. Good to see you, Kenneth. Bye, guys. Thanks for learning something new with us. All right, let's practice our skills. Ready? Bye. Welcome to Animal Yoga. My name is Priscilla, and I'm here to practice yoga together with you. Let's take a deep belly breath in and check how are we feeling in this very moment. Now bring our hands in front of our hearts. Namaste. Ready to begin? Today, we're gonna take Frog to the mountain on our horses. So, let's stand up and we're gonna first put our special boots on, okay? So, grab your boot and get the other boot. Very good. Do you wanna have a hat? We can put a hat too. Well, my boots and hats are red. You can choose your color. All right, so let's hop on your horse and then hold on to your rein and then we're gonna go. Down and up, go down and up, go down and up. Can we go really fast now? We are galloping. What's the sound of the galloping here? Very fast, very fast. Ah, and then we arrived. Can you be really low? Yes, very good. Let's hop off. Good job. Now we arrived at the mountain and Froggy wants to say hi to all his little friends animals that live in the mountain. So we're gonna close our eyes and you're gonna imagine, close your eyes and imagine all the animals that live on the earth. They're crawling on the ground, moving on the ground. And now we're gonna imagine all the animals that live in the water. Fish maybe, maybe some frogs also jumping in and out the water some animals that are near a waterfall. And now we're gonna imagine animals that are living 
inside the earth, maybe worms. Maybe they are living inside the volcano near the fire. And now we're gonna imagine the animals that live, they're flying in the air. Insects, birds, they are all animals that live in harmony. They are all in harmony and are friends with each other. That's how we should be with our friends as well. You can open your eyes, bring your hands in front of your heart and feel the harmony of your mountain. Thank you for joining me. May all be peaceful. May all be well. May all be happy. Namaste. In the Friday Zone. Friday. Thanks for joining us on the Friday Zone. Remember to visit our website, fridayzone.org, to watch past episodes, play games, and see behind the scenes photos. And remember to live, learn, and play the, the Friday, Friday Zone, Zone way. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, we like that fun here. <laughs> Production support for the Friday Zone is provided by the WTIU Children's Programming Endowment, ensuring quality children's programming for future generations of Hoosiers. Learn more at indianapublicmedia.org slash kidsfund. The IU School of Education, dedicated to improving, teaching, and learning in a diverse and rapidly changing world. More at education.indiana.edu. WFYI Public Media, inspiring Indiana with high quality educational content since 1970. By sharing stories and connecting people, WFYI inspires the best in our community. And these Indiana Public Television stations. Thank you. We're not kidding around. There's a whole litter of more content on our website, fridayzone.org. There you can catch up on past episodes and dig into our archived segments. There's info for parents, teachers, and even a link to contact our show. It's more fun than a ball of yarn. <laughs>